Good morning, and thank you for joining us here at the Sundance Festival. Before uh, uh, um, uh, we introduce Sarah Pierce, uh, who is the director of the Sundance Institute, which is why we're all here, let me just give just a few pieces of, of, of data that we think are interesting as it pertains to the economy. Consumer Attitude Index, how, how confident are we feeling? Well, in Utah, it dropped uh, 3.2 points to 105.7. Every month in 2015 was over 100, and eight of the 12 months was at over that magic 110 hurdle, which connotes that our economy is running on all cylinders. Now, it's the rest of the country that we wish would, you know, come along. Uh, the rest of the country increased 1.8 points, which again, that's, that's flat, uh, to 98.1. We have gone over that 100-point threshold as a country this year, uh, but just haven't been able, haven't been able to stay over it. There's some pessimism that people are feeling. Things are slowing down a little bit in China. Uh, uh, we're seeing lower prices for energy and and other commodities. Uh, we're we're seeing a gradual tightening on monetary policy here in the U.S. That's causing people to say, "Uh oh, is 2016 not going to be as good of a year?" But the forecasts are that we're on pretty solid ground and that we should expect uh, uh, about a 2.6% growth and, and, and internationally we'll see it about a 3.4% GDP growth. So with that, Sarah Pierce, who is the director of the Sundance Institute, is gonna to talk to us and answer some questions. Thanks, Randy. Thank you to Science Bank for having me here today. Uh, I'm, fair, I'm thrilled to be speaking about Sundance Institute and our most prominent public program, which is the Sundance Film Festival. The films and the panels and the celebrations are incredibly impactful on our culture, but as we know, art can be an economic driver as well. Our 2015 festival um, showed an $83.4 million impact to the state of Utah, and we'll have 2016 numbers probably in around April or May once the University of Utah's Bureau of Economic Research has been able to crunch those numbers. And since 2011, we've provided an economic impact of nearly $400 million to the state of Utah. Over the last five years, our um, We've, 32 million of that has been directly into the taxes, so that's money that is cold hard cash that the state can use for other things uh, throughout the, the year, and that's really exciting. And over those five years, we've also created more than 7,500 jobs. So um, in addition to the economic benefits the festival provides uh, for Utah businesses and residents, we provide arts and culture programming throughout the year for our community, um, we've, and we look forward to continuing to do that in, into the future. Um, I want to thank Zions Bank for having us here, and I, we still have a bunch of days left at the festival, and there's lots of tickets available in the second half, so get out there and enjoy it.